just look crazy. Hi guys, my name is Gabby. Welcome to my channel. Um, today I did a kind of, um, I don't know, big eyed look, I guess, using the Violet Boss Ride or Die palette. So if you guys would like to see how I achieved this look, then just keep watching and um, yeah, we'll get right into the video. Alright, like always, we're going to start off with our MYX First Base Primer Water. And then, I'm going to go in with my NYX um, Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer with Anti-Redness. Now we're going to do foundation, and I'm actually going to change it up today. I'm going to use the NYX Total Control Foundation. And this is a natural, and I'm also going to use their little foundation brush. So I have used this stuff before, I do like it a lot. One thing though, you do have to use quite a bit because they did let you really be in control of your coverage. But one thing I do like about this foundation a lot is it's very, very matte. Next, I'm going to blend this out with a damp beauty blender. Next, we are going to color correct. I'm going to be using the Hard Candy Color Correct Expert Palette and a little flat brush. I'm going to be going in with the peach color. I'm going to use my, do my nose contour first. I always forget that I changed this up. All right, I'm going to be going in with the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit. I'm going to be going in with this middle light brown color here, and this is in light. I'm going to be going in with um, a number 2112 Essential Concealer Brush from Ulta. All right, now we're gonna blend out the nose contour with a um, what used to be a fluffy eyeshadow brush. Next, we're gonna go in with concealer. Um, I just got this recently. It's the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer, and this isn't fair. I always forget to do that. I really like this stuff. It's actually um, been replacing my Shape Tape Concealer. So I'm always out of my Shape Tape. And I don't have the money to really get more right now. I do like to use a lot of this stuff. Alright, now where you did the color correction, just kind of go right over that with the concealer and we're going to blend it all together. And because I'm not doing a cream contour, I like to really spread my highlight out. No, I do something unique here with my nose because, like what I said, my nose gets very thin here. I want to make it look wider, so I'm bringing that out. Actually, do you know what? I'll do a nose contour video for you all so you can see exactly what I do. But All right, now let's blend this out. All right, now under the eye, and this is with my Real Technique sponge. Now, to blend out the concealer on the nose, I'm going to use a tiny little makeup sponge. And then I'm actually going to go back in with the cream contour and the original um, contour concealer brush. Just to mess up where the concealer kind of like overwidened on us. And I'm actually going to use the back end of the makeup sponge this time. There we have it. Now we're going to set the face. So I'm going to take the Tarte Smooth Operator Powder. This is what's left of it. And I'm going to set my under eye and the rest of my face with this little brush. I'm going to lay it on heavily where I would normally bake. And I'm going to sweep the excess over the rest of my face.
That's the face set. I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow and Soft Brown. I'm going to use an Anastasia number 12 brush. And I'll be right back when I'm done. <laughs> All right. Once your eyebrows are completed and carved out, I'm going to set my eyes and I'm going to be using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm going to be using a Morphe M421. Alright guys, when the paint pot is on, we're going to blend that out in a small BB blender. Alright, when it's blended out, we're going to set it with the Tarte Smooth Operating Powder, powder again and a fluffy eyeshadow brush. Today we're going to be using the Violet Boss Pro Ride or Die Palette and today we are going to, um, I'm going to show you an eyeshadow technique I have that kind of um, gives you like big doe eyes. So we're going to be using a lot, lot of eyeshadow first. I'm going to take this color April here. It's a um, kind of like a very light tan skin colored color. And I'm going to use that to set my eye with a fluffy eyeshadow brush. And I'm really going to pack it on from the brow bone. The eyeshadow brush we're going to be using today is the Morphe M441. I'm going to be using the same eyeshadow brush the entire time, so that makes that easy. Um, basically what is unique about this brush and what you need to have for this look is um, it's basically, it's more dense of an eyeshadow brush at the top, so it doesn't um, spread the color into like a wash of color. It keeps it right where you put it. So you're going to want kind of a, um, a dense tapered blending brush. Now, the first color we're going to go in with here is Erica. Now, <clears throat> we're going to transition right onto the crease with windshield wiper motions. Then what we're going to do is we're going to spin from the outer corner and flip out towards the eyebrow. Next we are going to repeat with Erica again. Don't be afraid to bring the color up a little bit. Really spin and drag that color out. The next color we're going in with is Abigail. We're going to do the same thing as the transition with this color. And we're going to repeat that again with Abigail. The next color we're going to take is Alice. Now this color we're going to do a little bit different. All right, we're going to focus on the outer V here. First, we're going to pack this. Onto the outer corner. Then we're gonna focus on this outer part. Once it's almost come off your brush, you're going to drag it in all the way, and we're going to spin up and out. Next, we're going to go in with Ashley, this color right here. And we're going to do the same thing we did with Alice. First, we're really going to pack it on. The last and final darkest color we're going to use is 
Courtney, this dark brown right here. And we're going to do the same that we did with number six, but we're going to do it lightly. Once we've done that, I'm going to take my Morphe B23. I'm going to really blend all these colors together just to make sure for no harsh lines. Now, I'm going to take the color Destiny and I'm going to take a little flat brush and spray it with water. Destiny might be one of my favorite colors in my palette. Once you've got Destiny on there, I'm going to go back with my more BM441. I'm going to dip into Alice, which was this rust color right here. And a little bit of Ashley, actually, too, which was the um, next to darkest color. And just kind of keep darkening up that outer portion of the eye there for depth. All right, guys, now that we're done with the eyeshadow, first, you're going to want to dust off all of um, your bake. And one great thing about baking before you do your eyeshadow and leaving it under there is that all of this fallout is just going to wipe right away. All right, guys, so now we're going to clean up here. I'm going to take a Burt's Bees makeup wipe. Alrighty guys, now that that's all cleaned up, it looks a lot less crazy than it did at first, right? <laughs> now, really quick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation. You can use any foundation you want, but we are going to fix where we wiped off our makeup here. Just dab that on if you like the makeup wipe, aka little beauty blender. Actually, I'm going to take this one, my Sephora sponge. Another thing I like to do with the damp sponge is press the powder in with it. I feel like it gives it a more natural look. Alright guys, once you've done that, we're going to set it with our little brush again and our Tarte Smooth Operator. Alright, now we're going to do eyeliner. Alright, I'm going to go in with my EM Cosmetics Illustrative Eyeliner Brush Tip in black. All right, now what I do is I brush up towards the tip of my eyebrow and bring it back in. Now I know a lot of people say with eyeliner, not to start from the very tip at first, but for some reason with me, that's the trick to getting it to work. All right guys, eyeliner is done. Alright guys, now mascara. I'm going to use my Kat Von D. I don't even remember what this is called. Mortal Lash. Oh. It dried out really quickly after I got it and I like thought it sucked. But then um I discovered my cure-all. It's this argan oil. Anything, any makeup that I get that dries out, I just put some of that in there and it's like it's brand new again. Now I'm going to put lashes on. I'm going to be using the Divine Lash Co. in Cleopatra. These are like my favorite lashes ever. All right, I'm going to use Duo Lash Glue. All right, guys, while I'm waiting for the lash glue to dry, I'm going to go around and do my normal little things. Um, I'm going to use the NYX Fox Whites in Vanilla to line my waterline. Next, I already set my face, but I'm actually going to go back over it with the... Um, CoverGirl Professional Loose Powder and Translucent, just lightly, just to make sure it's really all set on there. This is actually the setting powder I prefer, believe it or not. I feel like the, um, the Tarte Finishing Powder kind of like exposes some texture and abnormalities in the um, 
foundation after you put it on. And who likes that? But um, while we're waiting, we're gonna go with some bronzer. I'm gonna use the Tarte Park Ave Princess, the um, matte one. And I'm going to use the um, Sephora Must Have Large Powder Brush, number 30. This is the best brush for bronzers ever. All right, now we're gonna warm up the face. Now, before your eyelash glue dries, <laughs> we're gonna put those on. All right, you guys, now that our eyelashes are on, we are going to contour using our Too Faced Cocoa Contour Kit. First thing I'm gonna get is the nose. I'm going to use a Morphe M506. I'm going to dip it into the medium cocoa. Make sure you have a very, very light amount on there. And we are going to trace where we did earlier. Match up the bridge of your nose. All right, now once that over there we're going to do a little bit of blending and you guys know my favorite blending brush is my Morphe MB23. Lightly dip that in the medium cocoa as well, tap almost all of it off. All right, there we go. The contouring is on. Now next I'm going to take this little um, random brush and then dip it in the medium cocoa again. I'm going to haul out the cheek items a little bit more. And I'm going to take my Real Techniques multitasking brush. I'm going to dip that in the medium cocoa. And um, I'm going to entertain a bit of a less square forehead. And also hit really underneath the jawline to give you that more precise jaw. All right, now we're going to highlight the face. We're going to use the angled brush. We're going to go in with the light cocoa, lightest color in the palette. You have whatever highlight color your thing comes with works. Then you're going to cut your cheekbones. Okay, finally, we're going to go in with a small angled blending brush and light cocoa. Roll straight line down the nose. I'm going to blend that. Next, I'm going to take the light cocoa all around the thinner part of my nose. Middle. A little dot at the top. The last thing we're going to do is we're actually going to dip into the dark cocoa, which is the dark brown color in the palette, with our random brush. And we're gonna really finalize that contour. I'm just gonna dip a little bit in the dark. And hit the corners. Finally, I'm gonna blend all of this highlight and um, contour together with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Powder. All right, um, now that we've got our powder on our face, we're going to go in with blush. I'm going to use the Tarte Party Blush, nice little light pink. And I'm going to use my um, Pro Airbrush number 55 from Sephora. All right, guys, once the blush is on, we are going to go in with highlight. And I'm actually going to use um, this L'Oreal Lumi True Match in Rose Gold. It's a powder illuminator. I'm going to go in with my Morphe. E61. I'm 
also going to go in with my um, Luxie 514 brush. Alright, we'll highlight the cubits bow. I'm going to hit on top of the eyebrows here. I like this highlighter because it's a little bit um, lighter. But I'm also going to go in with a bit of my Jeffree Star and Ice Cold. I actually got this um, tip from Jeffree Star <laughs> to use to, um, more than one highlighter, and it's actually a really great idea. All right, now we're going to highlight the tip of the nose and inner corners of the eyes. I'm going to use my Morphe M, um, 507. Also going to go in with a little bit of my ice cold. Now I'm going to finish the underneath of the eye and go back in with my Violet Moss Ride or Die palette. First I'm going to take my initial transition color which was Erica, in case you all don't remember. And I'm going to take this Nameless Morphe Tapered Blending Brush. It came with an eye kit from Morphe, which I would suggest everyone getting if you don't have any eyeshadow brushes. It'll get you good. And that's actually all I'm going to do for the under eye. I'm going to keep it nice and light and simple. It's really all you need for that kind of doe eye effect. All right, I'm going to do the bottom mascara. I'm going to be taking the Colossal Spider Effect. If you really want big eyelashes, this is the mascara to go with. Now, for my lipstick. First, I'm going to line my lips with the Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in Terribly Nude. All right, once your lips are overlined, I'm going to go in with the um, MYX Lip Lingerie and Bedtime Flirt. All right, guys, now normally what I'll do is um, I'll go back in and make sure my eyebrows are all darkened up before I leave the house. So I'm going to go back in with my Anastasia A12 brush and my Dip Brown Soft Brown. All right, once the eyebrows are darkened, we're going to set the whole face with our um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. Whew, all right, and once you have the setting spray on, this is the final look, you guys. Um, ugh. And I hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you do, make sure you give it a like and um, subscribe.